Okay, great. Thank you for joining me. My name is Jamila Walker and I'm an artist and I live in Shrewsbury. Um, this, the theme of today's workshop is layers. And I like to pick um, themes that are really sort of ambiguous, a bit loose, they could go anywhere. And then um, we, we, can just, we can just sort of be experimental and enjoy ourselves and think about, it's nice to have a nice picture at the end, but we're gonna enjoy the process as well. So we're hopefully gonna be a bit experimental. We're gonna be kind to ourselves. We're gonna, even if we don't like what we come up with today, that's okay, that's okay. But I think you will. I think you will like it because we're in a good mood, hopefully. And if you're not in a good mood, this is the perfect place to be. And hopefully in 90 minutes, you will be in a great mood. If, uh, cause you're all muted and I don't wanna feel like I'm just chatting to the ether. If you wanna talk to me in the chat icon at the bottom of the screen, if you're using a computer, or at the top if you're using an iPad. There's um, a little chat icon there and you can type messages to me or ask any questions. Or if you wanna ask me a question uh, verbally, you can um, unmute yourself and wave or use the reactions. You've either got uh, clapping hands, because you think I'm so great, <laughs> or you can um, do a thumbs up, because etc etc so please don't be a stranger you know we'll we'll all mingle together okay so what else was i going to say it's good for our well-being blah 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 okay layers okay so we're going to be this is quite an abstract session today so um layers could be loads of different could be we could interpret layers in loads of different ways it could be the layers of an onion or the layers of our body we've got skin then we've got bone no muscles um blood that kind of thing so we're really going to try and be quite experimental with the theme of layers okay so the, for our warm-up exercise i'm going to describe a scene to you and you're going to draw what I say as we go along. I'm going to use uh, these felt tips and markers, which just because um, you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little bit better. So because they'll be nice and bright and bold. But ideally, I kind of prefer fine liners, but I will compromise my art for you guys for accessibility. So, so what I want you to do is you're not going to know what's going to be happening straight away. I'm going to just tell you stage by stage. So it might mean that you draw on top of things, which I'd ideally like you to do. So try not to be too precious if things don't look separate and neat as possible. Okay, so we're ready. You can use any drawing materials you like. Um, so the scene we're going to do, which is going to be layered, layers on layers, we're going to start with a window and a window ledge. So you can draw from your imagination or you might be able to see a window in your room. You can use that as a reference. But that's the first thing I'd like to do. A window from the inside. So from the inside, from the inside view and the window ledge. Angela! Hi, Angela! Hi! Hi! You've got a dog? I didn't know you had a dog. Yeah. Well, we're just starting off with the warm-up exercise yeah. and the theme today is layers. So we're just drawing a window at the moment. So you might want to do the window behind you or um, a window from your imagination. Yeah. Uh, use any colours, anything you want to do. Okay? okay. <laughs> so we're just going to be creative. Everyone will have a slightly different... Perspective, different outlook on what we're up to. I think I'm gonna use the window that I can see. <clears throat> can you guys see what I'm drawing? No. <clears throat> so we're drawing the window and the ledge. The ledge is important. So the like the little shelf on your window. So if yours doesn't have one, you can um, you can make one up. Okay. 
don't forget details like you know like the window catch how does your window open what shape is your window is it like a porthole is it round is it square okay so this is mine so far Is your window in good condition? Has it got any cracks in it? Is there any bits of paint? Has any pesky children come along and put stickers on them? Okay. Okay, so your, my window ledge is here and I'm going to put a little bit of more colour here just to sort of suggest the shadow underneath. Like that, and I'll put a bit of shadow here. It's not, it's not, I'm, not, I'm not going for a super realistic, but I just don't want it to look super flat. Okay. We're working quite quickly because this is just a warm-up exercise so I'll give you another few seconds on that and we'll move on. We're just trying to get loosened up and creative. Okay, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on. Um, and on this ledge, I would like you to add some plants. So your plants can be ones from your imaginations, ones that you might be able to see in your room. They could be fantasy um, plants that don't really exist. Use your imagination, but I just want you to have some plants on there. They, they might be in pots, they might be growing out of the window frame. There's a house down the road from me which has been abandoned and all the, these plants have grown through the window and, and like sort of enveloped the house. I would really love to go in there and take some photos, and bring some lights um, and the door is all completely engulfed. So like nature has reclaimed that house. It's amazing. So, <clears throat> so your plant pots can have patterns on them. So I'm having to draw, I'm going to have to draw now over my window ledge. So our first layer on top. Mine is rounded, round with window, um, plant pots. I'm going to try and make the shadows a little curved to mirror the roundness of the <clears throat> of the pot. Okay, that's what I've got so far. Okay. So at least two plants, but more if you feel inclined.
Is more people coming? I don't so know I if you've you. I did. I love letting people in. The power. I love it. Hello. Welcome, welcome. We've just started a warm up exercise. We're well, connecting to audio. Maybe you can't hear us. Can you hear us? I don't know. Usually, I don't think you can. can uh, so the, the expressions suggest they can't. If they're doing the face when you do that, that face. What no. doing? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. It still says connecting to audio. I don't think you can hear us. Oh, oh we can hear you now. Oh, good. Can... Oh. <laughs> okay, hello. <laughs> We're starting a warm up exercise, and the theme is layers for the whole workshop. So at the moment, we're drawing. Um, we're building up our picture very slowly. So we've started off with a window frame and then some plants on our window ledge. And then there'll be more. There'll be more to come. So thank you for joining us. You haven't missed much at all. Glad you could log on. Okay, so, um, oh, I've only got one plant. I'm gonna put one more plant in quickly and then we'll move on because it's all my pace. It's all at my pace. <laughs> We're all working to my, my time frame. I don't know many, I'm always doing workshops that involve plants, so I know nothing about plants. So this is a spider plant. And then I, I, I I've show got a spider plant right here. Have you? Oh, that's doing very well. Mine is dead. I know, my real one. one. Oh, then I love plants. I love them, they just don't love me. I've killed so many. No, I'm the same. <laughs> There are so many. Oh, yes. You, your plants could be dead as well. They don't have to be alive. Let let the themes go with your imagination. I'm trying to draw sideways neatly. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're going to create a narrative. We're going to create a story with this picture. Maybe maybe this the people in this house have gone on holiday and their plants are dying. So. Everything doesn't have to be all neat and tidy. Maybe Heather isn't here today. Might you still do that for you? On your picture screen? Oh, I can hear someone. If that, whoever that, would you mind muting yourself? Just in case you, you know, you talk about some crimes you've done and, you know, we have to report you or something. <laughs> Thank you. But please unmute yourself if you have something to say to, say to me or Sean. I want more plants in this. Oh, maybe flowers. It might be flowers. Okay. Okay, I will move on. We'll move on because I'm being slow. <clears throat> okay, so next on our imagination, Jamila describes activity. Oh, they're in your view through the window. It's a high street. So um, that could go anywhere. It could be your local high street. <laughs> it could, I saw a few faces go, mm. it could be one you've seen on holiday or it could be one from your imagination. It could be a, the high street of your dreams. It could be just all toy, toy shops or, or all sweet shops or all no shops at all because shops are boring to me. <laughs> so, um, so I yeah. have to make a new window now, Jamila, because I'd already filled it in with hills. Well, that was rebellious of you because <laughs> I was supposed to draw a frame. So what you could do instead is draw your high street on top of the hills. Yes, I could. You could do your face was like, oh, I'm not going to do it. Oh. Could we work well, I'd it? already drawn two windows, so I'm just going to use the other one. Oh, fair enough then. But we, it's fine to layer up. We'll be on brand. We'll be on brand. <laughs> I like people taking the... Um, the uh, the brief and running with it. You can't get it wrong. That's what's brilliant about art. You can never be wrong. Never. They cannot censor our imaginations. Okay. I think my high street's just going to have loads of cafes. It's how I like eating. Ariella would like to know um, what view she needs to draw. Ooh, the view is of a high street. So uh, like the main, the main um, street of the town where the shops are, but yours can be any 
imagine it however you want. At the moment, I'm putting in some cafes on my oh. house roof, but you can do anything you like. Looks like you're, so you're like inside and you're yes. Like, ah. yes, yes, yes. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you missed that bit at the start. Sorry about that. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. She is. She's using um, uh, Sharpies. Oh, Do you Uh, experiment with different textures because and also the view out the window is in the distance so it's not going to have that much detail so if you want to you can add more detail to things in the foreground in the front of the picture and it can the background can be quite um sort of yeah. How dare you not listen to me? <laughs> um, um, sort of sparse, that's what I meant. So you don't need to have so many lines. <clears throat> Just to give your picture a bit of perspective. However, if it doesn't have any perspective and looks abstract, and, and that's absolutely fine too. I think there might be a block of flats on my high street. This area has been gentr gentrified. And all the um, businessy people have come in and bought up all the small greengrocers and made them into little complexes. <laughs> okay, you might have some sky as well. Might be some clouds in the sky. If you can fit those in. You might want to add a few more plants if you're waiting. Okay, so the last layer that we're going to add to our picture is I'd like you to design your own wallpaper. So your wallpaper could be floral, could be robots, it could be leaves, could be, I don't know what people have on their wallpaper. What do people have on their wallpaper? Palm trees, these are all very natural things, but you can have anything you like, all oh, dots, squiggles, rainbows, but I would like you to aim to do some repeated pattern. So whatever your design is, I'd like it to go all over, all over your, um, picture and if you were like me I never use wallpaper but if I did I would never line them up I don't, I'd make sure I definitely would never have the pictures lining up so feel free to do that okay so you're going to fill the rest of the page I'm going to fill this area you can't see that bit of the screen there and there all with wallpaper I think I might do it what am I going to do I might do rainbows. I'm gonna do lots of rainbows.
So I've decided to do lots of rainbows. So I've started off just doing all my art shapes with the red and then I'm gonna do all the, I think I might go orange next and then do all those and then keep on going rather than doing them all individually because that will take longer. And we're trying to do quick decisions because we're doing a warm up exercise. Okay, we'll have one more minute on our wallpaper and we'll, then we'll have a big reveal if you feel happy to share your work with the rest of the group.
Okay. Hopefully, do you, want, do you want a few more minutes? Yeah, okay, yeah, a few more minutes then. Thank you. okay we're going to stop now if you want to you're more than welcome to finish off your work um after the session but i think i think um i personally got quite into that so that was quite a long warm-up session hopefully we're feeling creative and happy with what we've done and enjoyed layering up sometimes that can be difficult because you want everything to look neat but i think this is why i wanted you to do this workshop do this um, warm-up to try and help us be less precious so uh if you want to oh you're already doing it i didn't do my drum roll okay drum roll if you want to share your work uh three two one there we go Ooh, ooh, your view is so fancy, Sally. Oh, these are fantastic. And can you hold yours up a bit higher? Oh, I love the plants. Those are great. Oh, yours and your there's strawberries on your wallpaper. These are all amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my god. That's really good. That's a lot of work in there, Denise, in that very short amount of time. Thank you. Oh, excellent. Okay, so we need a new piece of paper, I assume. Can you draw on the back if you want to? You might want to, I don't know. Oh, no, no, we're not doing that. Okay, so what we need now is if you're drawing on a, a, a easel like me, you probably want to take it off the easel because we're going to um all the pads if you're drawing on pads because we're going to fold a piece of paper in half okay guys fold it in half crease down the edge and then we're going to fold it again in half so we've got quarters and each quarter we're going to do a different mark making and we're going to try and fill the whole page. It doesn't have to be neat, it can be in any, ideally, if you've got colours, do a different colour in each square. So, we've got our quarters ready. 
Excellent. Nice sharp fills. Very satisfying. Very satisfying. Okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So what are we doing first then? Okay. So I want you to work quite quickly. Try and be um, fluid with your body. Try not to draw too much like this. You know, use your wrist and your shoulders and use your whole body. We try not to sit too stiffly. Give yourself a wiggle if you need to, because it is so easy to get really tight, which is fine sometimes, but not all the time. For one, it hurts your neck. Okay, so in our first quarter, we are going to. Oh, you can write your name many, many times, or if you don't want to write your name, um, leaf, you could make a leaf shape. So um, any colour you want. If you're going to use yellow, you could use lots of different tones of yellow. I think I might use that. I might do yellow. So I'm going to use these two. That's very bright. And I'm going to, I might do leaves actually. So we're going to try and fill the whole quarter of leaves. It can be different types of leaves. They can ideally, because we're doing layering, they can overlap. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I'm going to fill my whole quarter. So you can write your name repeatedly in a sort of um, shining sort of, sort, of, sort of way. And if you've seen that film, Children, tut, tut, it's not for children. Um, no judgment here. Going to fill the whole quarter. I'm going to layer over so it ends up looking quite abstract, hopefully. It will anyway. Oh, that's the same colour. Oh. Oh, <clears throat> oh, maybe I'll do orange then. I'm just filling up the whole this whole quarter with different shades of orange and yellow leaves. Ooh, I see a question. I like that you guys are chatting to me. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, quickly. Just keep layering up your uh, leaves or if you've decided to write a name, you can go over the top of them. Change the Hi, can, can we just ask? Sorry, <laughs> it's uh, Ariella's mom. <laughs> um, you're mentioning a name, so is she is she meant to um, draw lots and lots of leaves and then just write a name over the top, or Ooh, you could choose to either write your name repeatedly within your quarter, or you could just do leaves, or if you want to do both, that's absolutely fine. 
So okay. um, at the moment, I've just I've just decided to do leaves. But if some people might be writing their names many, many, many times in that quarter. Okay, go. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. No problem. Oh, how easily spooked I am. So yeah, change the direction of your drawings as well, so that your layering isn't too uniform. We're trying to aim. We're aiming for randomness, sort of thing. So not a specific neat pattern. And it will all come together in the end, hopefully. No, hopefully, of course it will. It's all an experiment. So filled my first quarter and if you're ready to move on if you're not then carry on uh, if, if the next quarter we're going to do oh a continuous line so that means you pick a pen or pastel or whatever you're using and you're going to draw for us um, for a certain amount of time without taking your pen off the paper so we're going to be quite fluid and they might be they might be sharp lines and they might be very flowy lines however whatever mood you're feeling sometimes you might want to put some music on and draw to the the rhythm whatever <clears throat> Continuous line of what? Continuous line of anything. At the moment, mine is a wiggle. So just, you, it could be, you could draw some, like something that you can see in your life or something from your imagination. But all, all the theme is for this quarter, a continuous line, Henry. So however you decide to read that. Okay? I'm excited to see what you come up with. I'm so vague, aren't I? Are the lines meant to be of a particular colour or just any no, colour? Ideally, and a different colour from what you've done previously. But again... Okie doke. Okay. I try and make um, activities um, specific enough to give you a guidance, but also open enough that you can, you know, bring your own experiences, your own creativity to it. So I don't want to inhibit your ideas or be too restrictive if that makes sense because there might be some things that we do that make you feel really uncomfortable or you don't like but then you can think well that's something i know i don't want to do again <laughs> or you could take elements of it into your own work so i've done lots of continuous lines of this pink here and i'm going to go over it of another continuous line using a different pink, possibly a darker one. But your continuous lines might be really sharp lines or they might be of something. So I think over the top of the next layer of mine, I'm going to use a purple and I'm going to do a continuous line drawing of some houses. So, I don't know if I'll put it up here and then you might be able to see what, hopefully you'll see what I'm up to. Okay. Right here. I'm drawing sideways and a house. <laughs> Because it's a continuous line drawing and I want to go back, I'm going to have to go back over some lines I've already used. I'm going to give my house a little chimney. Doing a very naive style, which I like. A little bit of grass. Roof, does this one have a roof? A small one. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's my very rough continuous line drawing of some houses over the top of my continuous line sort of patterns. So we're aiming for lots of layers and, and um, negative shapes and things. So that is great. Okay, so for our next quarter, if you're ready to move on with me, we're gonna do uh, just straight lines. So that could be um, lots of crosses, could be uh, it could be horizontal lines going straight across. Could be vertical lines going straight up. Just any any marks you want to make with straight lines. They could be very short ones, little dashes. Diagonal, like that shape, going straight across. Just straight lines, no curves, if you please. I'm glad you're all sticking with me because I'm being very like um, very very random with you all <laughs> and you're all being very open-minded Okay, so there's my straight line section there. At the moment, it looks a bit flat, so I'm going to put some more layers of different curves on there and vary the sizes of my little crosses just to give it some depth and remember to overlap your lines. Don't worry about being too neat. Thank you. Okay, last quarter. Oh, I'd like you to do a shape and then repeat that shape as many times as you like. I think I'll go for green and I'll go for triangles. So I'm gonna do loads and loads of triangles in my last quarter here. And um, they're gonna be different sizes, they're gonna be different directions. And we try and, I'm gonna hold my pen quite high up so I can be quite loose with it and try not to worry about being super neat or super precious because we're doing experimental drawing and drawing games so we're, we're going to be fluid and playful with our mark making okay so you might pick a hexagon or a pentagon or a circle whatever shape you want to do we're just going to fill our last quarter with that shape. That's the same colour. Oh, I forgot I had a drink. Oh, joy, oh joy.
question. Sean, you're back. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> checking on my children. Ah. Looks a bit 80s, these triangles, I think. It looks very 80s. <laughs> It's very chic in, in, in the 80s, lots of geometric shapes, young people. It's very chic. And a lot of black ash as well. This furniture that was, I think it was MDF painted black. <laughs> Okay, you can put some shapes within other shapes as well. I'm going to put some smaller triangles in here. Um, oh, okay. Kind of want to get a wiggle on. I want to get all. I, I, I want to do all the activities because I thought this sounded fun. So um, try and let's work fast. Let's fill the page. Oh, that's not a triangle. Oh, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> good bit of yoga working this way because it means I really stretch this side of my body. <laughs> okay. I'm being ruthless. We're finished. We're finished doing that part. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take another piece of paper and this is why I said to people if you've got scissors and glue that's great. If you don't it really doesn't matter. Which is this piece of work that we're going to make now. This, so this piece is going to be transformed into another piece of work. Um, it's all a journey. It could be ephemeral, this piece, which means it doesn't last forever. It means it's just of this, piece, of this moment. However, I am going to glue mine, actually, because just so you guys can see what I'm up to. But um, if you don't want to glue yours, it doesn't matter. So... I don't know why I pulled that away because I kind of need it. <laughs> so what we're going to do with these quarters is that's what you know earlier I said make sure you press hard on the crease. So I need you to um, rip them in half to rip them up along the crease so that it's a nice sharp line which is quite difficult to see on here so you just pull gently on the crease if you um if you want some extra help from grown-ups this might be the time to pull them in uh, i wanted to do that on the table honestly it's really you need to do it on a flat surface really or if you've got scissors just cut it out so now i've got a half and now I've got quarters because i'm a rebel i'm not using scissors even though i have many over there <laughs> Um, so, so make sure your fold is nice and sh is nice and flat and sharp as possible, and then you can gently pull it away so that you have it with four quarters. Waha. Okay, so what we're going to do with these quarters, we're going to do some more layering, and we're going to layer these pe these um, pieces to make a scene. So first of all we need to kind of make these pieces a little bit smaller. And if you haven't got scissors, I think, to be honest, it's a little bit more potentially interesting that way. So, because I'm going to rip mine and I'm, I think I'm going to go for um, a, a portrait, I think. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to make my paper portrait way. That's landscape, that's portrait. And I'm going to make a portrait of, Mm. Oh, the Mona Lisa. I can see a um, postcard of the Mona Lisa behind me. I'll show it you. And I'm going to make a portrait of her. Have you ever seen the Mona Lisa in real life? <gasps> Say that again, Sean. Have you ever seen it in real life? Yes, I have. It's tiny. That's what I've heard. It's really tiny. And there's loads of people around it. And they're mainly taking pictures of themselves, like selfies like that with them in it. So yeah, so I'm going to use this as my reference. However, you can use whatever you want to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip, I'm going to make a collage with these pieces. 
Um, and I'm going to rip it into, I think I might start with her hair. So what you're going to do is if you haven't got any glue, you're going to need your paper, your, your new piece of paper to be flat. What we're going to do is we're going to just place them on top. And then you can take a picture of it afterwards if you want to. But if you don't want to, that's fine because that's one of the things that I want to do today is be in the moment and just sort of play around and layer them all on top. So I'll start mine and then hopefully if it wasn't clear before, it will be clear now what, what I'm up to and what I'm plotting and planning. So... I did get this postcard at the Louvre. Louvre. Yeah, I did, yeah, in, in Paris. That's where she is, old Mona Lisa. So I've ripped, I'm using the green, I think, to be the basic shape for her. And then I'm going to layer on top. Now I'm going to glue mine because otherwise you won't be able to see it if I do it flat. And if I, if I don't glue it on here, it'll just fall off. There's gravity wants to take my paper to the floor. Okay, so, so we're making a collage with our drawing, really. That's what we're doing. That's okay. So, got that. Okay, and um, then we'll do a face. So, I'm going to use my pink one to do a face. By ripping it, you've got a little bit less control and a little bit less preciseness. And I think that can be quite freeing sometimes. Okay. At the moment, not really, nothing's really happening, but we'll build it up. I don't know, what, I don't know where it's going to go. I might hate it. I might put it in the recycle basket afterwards. Wow. Okay. Our drawing and mark making is now becoming um, a collage. So you, yours could be a landscape. I've decided to do a portrait. Yours could be, or it could just be, you jumble up all the patterns and make a new abstract picture. It doesn't have to look like anything in particular. put her head at the bottom of the picture when I hadn't filled in her body yet. Poor ply. Never mind. I didn't really plan because I don't really know what I was doing. I really like one piece of artwork evolving to another because sometimes I'll take some draw, I'll take some photographs, which are photographs I like in themselves, and then I'll maybe Photoshop over the top of them, then maybe create a drawing from it, and then maybe make an animation from it. So I think sometimes, even if you don't like a piece of work, there might be elements of it that you like, and you can turn it into something else. I think drawings I don't like can easily become collages, which you can then take a photograph of and then maybe draw on the photograph on your tablet or if you've got Photoshop or something. The possibilities are endless. 
So if you're not working with glue, then you might want to just move things around on your screen, on your paper and change change the position of things, think, see how things look. Oh, I haven't used any of the yellow yet. Oh, that could have been my background. That'll be my background. There we go. <laughs> There's I've got a layer now. There we go. So this is what I've got so far. And then what I'm going to do is draw over the top of it to try and pull it together and add her eyes and nose and mouth in there. I want to do it in black, I think, so you guys can see better. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. So if you want to draw over the top and add more marks, you can. Because I want, I think I'm going to put some more purple marks here to give a little bit of shadow where, on her arms on the outside, because the light's coming from the front. So the shadow, there is a slight shadow there. So I think I'm going to add a bit more purple here. Oh, not that purple. That's too light. <clears throat> Oh, well, that's black also. Oh dear.
see you're all still working away so we'll do a few more minutes on this then and I haven't glued mine completely flat and flush to the paper because I wanted um, from this angle I've got a light on here and it, it's creating shadows so it's making it almost a relief as well so like it's not quite 3d but a relief means like something that's flat but it's got textures and layer on it so um, so this could even work even more interestingly as a photograph and I might put some more shadows where the paper slightly lifting I might pull some of the paper from the glue to create more shadows and light it really, put a really strong light on it on one angle to create more, to create more um, depth. So she looks like she's sort of escaping the, the frame. She's been trapped in there a long time, hasn't she? How old, how old is this painting? Oh, 1452, this painting was painted. Oh. Yeah, she, she deserves a break. I think we've got somebody who's already finished, Jamila. <gasps> no way! Do you want to wait for the re big reveal? Oh, we're showing us! Oh, wow! And you took it down. Excellent. Thank you, Donna. Brilliant. Excellent. Okay, so I think, do you know what? I have two more activities and I don't think we're going to have time. So I'm going to have to make a Sophie's Choice and pick oh, which one we do. Henry. Say that again. Henry. Oh. Let's have a big reveal. Oh, wow. Excellent. Brilliant. A lovely bit of collage, everybody. Oh, these are great. These are great. These are really good. Oh, they're really exciting. 
and you would never be able to like this is of this moment you would only draw in this way you pick these colors so this is my mona lisa here oh she's fallen um oh i like it and i wouldn't have thought that i'd be using shadows in it as well like real life shadows as well because from this angle i can see shadows under there and it's and it's given it a lot more depth and i'm really pleased with it actually which is unlike me i'm very rarely like my own work so i'm going to do a bit more to it and i'm going to photograph it and i'm going to photoshop it and i'm going to do some stuff okay so um, yeah i've made my sophie's choice yes this is what we're going to do i know what we're going to do um so we need a new piece of paper and if you didn't glue yours down, I really admire you for being in the moment and ephemeral, making ephemeral work work that's only temporary, temporary and only going to last for this time. Okay, so what we're going to do is, is that gonna, yeah. no, too loud. Um, too low. So some of my favourite layers come in the form of Russian dolls because you can fit smaller and smaller dolls inside. So this is our, our next our next and probably final activity for today. Oh, did you hear that squeak? Ah, it's loud. Okay, so we're gonna use these as a reference. If you've got some Russian dolls in your house, feel free to use those. I can't find the other two. I don't know where they are. However, I've got these ones as well. I've got a lot of Russian dolls. How about inside, Jamila? How about inside? Yeah, as in where the dolls are. Oh, they're not inside. <laughs> <laughs> I did check that. I see. I was like, this word? Yes, no, but they're not in there. I swear, they're not in there. <laughs> I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, it's horrible speak. I can't even be offended that you asked me that because I think that's a fair question. Maybe they're there. No, no. I don't know where they are. Uh, but I've got all the blue ones, so we can use the blue ones. But I prefer the red ones. So I was, um, but you have the option to do these ones. You can see them more, can't you? Um, I might put one of the little ones in front. So what we're going to do, oh yeah, because I want four. And I've got them in. No. Oh, she's bigger than that one. Oh dear. It's all gonna run. Oh, actually, no, it's quite cool. It's quite aesthetically pleasing. Um, so, what we're gonna do with these actual layers is we're gonna draw each one of them. Um, the big one, smaller one, smaller still, smallest. And I'd like you to draw each one wearing a different, slightly different outfit to, um, to suggest the season. So the first one can be winter, second one could be summer, third one could be autumn, and the fourth one could be, did I say spring? All the four seasons. I, winter, summer, spring, autumn, yes. So um, you might want to do the draw the first one, the big one first, and then adapt her clothing and her demeanour. So maybe if you're doing winter, she might, her face might not be so smiley, she might be a bit more like, oh, the winter unless you like the winter. Some people do, you know, not me. And um, she could be wearing a big woolen Russian coat, but I want you to be imaginative, but also I'm being nice and giving you an actual reference as well. So um, this could go anywhere. So, you know, um, uh, what we're looking because these are still, so they're not going to move anywhere. They're quite flat, so you don't have to really think about perspective too much or texture because they're really smooth. And we can think about character, characterization and narrative and story. Are these four, are they working together as one image or are they separate images? So, yeah. Four Russian dolls, four seasons, quite imaginative. That's what I'm going with. Are we going to do anything with these drawings afterwards or there is just one drawing, one big drawing? One big drawing. Okay. I'm not going to make you cut it up. Not that I made you, you wanted to do it. We were in it together. Yes, good question. Um, I think I'm going to have my, my paper landscape this time. And use any materials you want to, any techniques you want to. Okay, 
see it from that way, so I'm going to have more in here. Because the subject we're drawing is very curved, you're very unlikely you're going to have any straight lines in your picture. So try and think about uh, the direction of your objects and and uh, think, try and think about it being 3D as possible. Where's the, the light is coming from this direction. So there's more shadows in this area and that will help your item look a bit more solid and 3D. I've started off with the winter one and she's wearing a big big coat with huge sort of 60s style buttons and woolly, and uh, woolly gloves which is good for me because I'm, oh, I, I'm really bad at drawing hands and I will do anything to avoid it so woolly gloves are very helpful. Actually they're mittens.
as we're working in layers you might want to build up any shading gradually so put one layer of of mark making and then maybe do another layer going in a different direction to try and build up texture and layers and and, and shadows as you go along so keep pulling away from your picture look at it from different angles and don't be afraid to leave some some areas not worked into keep asking yourself questions what do i like about it what do i want this character to be doing to be wearing to be going is she young or old older etc etc I don't think you'll be able to see, but on the top of her head and the yellow ones, they've got this sort of swirling pattern as well. And there's lots of um, different textured marks as well. And some of the layers, you can see where they've here. Oh, actually, no, I don't know. Yeah, if you can see the red and the the red and the yellow here from the scarf and the body, they overlap. So they painted the yellow first and then they've gone over a little bit with the yellow which shows it's handmade and it shows that you, things don't have to be super neat you can see you can think see colors and and lines overlapping and it's still it's, it's, it, you know it can still be effective okay we've got another few minutes on this and then we'll show each other our work which i'm quite excited over i'd like to warn you now i'm still working on the first one I have not got to, I'm still doing winter.
Okay, we're just gonna um, wrap up now. Um, feel free to carry on with the drawings after the session. And I'm really nosy, and so is and so is Arts Connection, and we want to see your work, so please email them, because it's lovely to see them on the screen, but we can never see all of it properly. So if you want to send it, and then they can make a, a gorgeous online gallery of all our creations. So um, I'm just moving some jazz out the way, and then I'm going to show you mine. So three, two, one. That's mine. Oh, I love the bikini. Oh my God. Oh, these are brilliant. 